Hi, in this video we will learn how to get data into R from an extensible markup language or an XML file. To be able to do so, we need to install an R package XML into our local machine and then attach it to our R environment. This package offers a number of functions that would help us in reading the data from XML files. The code on the screen would help us in installation and package attaching process. Let's run both the code at once after selecting everything. So the package installation is complete and also attachment of the library XML into the global environment. Let's clean this console by hitting Ctrl plus L on keyboard. I already have provided a sample breakfast menu XML file in the example folder. The source of the file is the website address as shown on the script here. If you want, you can also download it directly to a folder using the native function in R as shown over here. But since I have already done that, I will skip this step to the next. Let's explore this downloaded XML file before reading its data in the next step in R. Hit Ctrl O to open the dataset directory and the file breakfast.xml. Right click on this and open with a notepad. As we can see this is a typical XML file with parent and children nodes. This is the data we want to read into a data frame within R. So let's close this one and close this dialog box to move into the R script and start working on to the next step. The block of code highlighted over here is the one all we need to read XML data into an R data frame object. I will explain one by one all of these codes. First look at this object file name. This is basically a vector which contains the information related to file name and its path. But why I created this vector? Because in R at times we use file name and path in many functions. So to avoid repeated typing of the same, we create a vector to simplify the codes. And instead of passing the argument as the file name along with the path to the function, we will pass a vector to it. This line of code basically creates the vector which contains the path name and the file name into it. Let's run this code and we can see that the vector is created which contains the path to the file and the file name. This line of code basically creates an object XML data using the function XML internal tree parse from the package XML and argument as the file name. Let's run this code. And we can see that the object is created. If we print this object, we can see it basically contains all of the XML data as what we have seen in the file. Out of this data, the one which we are interested into is this block. This is the one we want to convert into a data frame object. The data frame will have a column name, name another column as price, another column as description, and the last column as calories. The XML package has a function that can convert XML data into a data frame. The name of this function is XML to data frame as shown over here. The only argument passed to this function is an R object that contains the XML formatted data. In our case, this object is XML data created a while ago. Let's run this command and we can see that the object has been created and is available in the global environment. The object has five rows of observation and four variables. Let's click on this object to inspect what it contains. And as we expected, the first column name is name. The second column is price, third is description, and the last column is calories. Let's close this object. This completes the learning exercise of reading XML data into our data frame.
In the next video, we will learn to read data directly from the websites. Thank you.